What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. You will learn in this video how to solve 2 sine square theta plus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0 where theta is between 0 and 2 pi. So as you see here, we have a quadratic equation and we need to solve it. The best method and the easiest method for this kind of equation is to use factoring method. So I'm going to use AC method to factor that. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And here the coefficient is positive 1. So we are looking for two numbers, multiply to negative 2 and add to positive 1. That will be 2 and negative 1. So I'm going to use these two numbers to rearrange this equation. So 2 sine squared theta, I'm going to write it like that. Instead of sine theta, I will write 2 sine theta minus sine theta. So it's going to be 2 sine theta minus sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then you group factor that. So we have 2 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta. The GCF here is 2 sine theta. That will be 2 sine squared divided by sine. 2 sine is going to be sine theta. 2 sine divided by 2 sine is going to be plus 1. Here you have negative sine minus 1. You have negative sine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Then I factor that. It's going to be sine theta plus 1. Here I have 2 sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So we have two expressions. When you multiply them, it's equals to 0. It means that each of them can be 0. So sine theta plus 1 equals to 0 or 2 sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So here that will be sine theta equals to negative 1. And here 1, negative 1 becomes positive 1 divided by 2 is going to be 1 half. Sine theta is positive 1 half. So what kind of theta values you have? When sine theta equals to negative 1, it means that theta is 3 pi over 2. Because sine 3 pi over 2 is going to make it negative 1. And what kind of theta value is going to make 1 over 2? We have pi over 6 based on the special angles. And the other one is must be in quadrant 2 based on the cast rule. Cast rule. All and S, it means in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, sine is positive. So here we have theta, here we have pi minus theta. Theta we found it, which is pi over 6. And pi minus theta, which is pi minus pi over 6, will be 6 pi over 6. Minus pi over 6 will be 5 pi over 6. So we have these three answers. If you write it in increasing order, we have pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2. These three are the answers to this trigonometric equations i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question and i get back to you as soon as possible i leave some more related videos and playlists in the description in case you need more practice questions you can take a look to the description and watch the related videos please if you found this video useful like this video and share it with your friends you can also subscribe this channel to have access to many other videos regarding math and science. Thank you for watching and have a great day.